home. Dozens of FPL workers who spent the last three months in Puerto Rico helping restore power there. They are home finally tonight. News Channel 5's Alana Quillen live for us at Palm Beach International Airport to show us the reunion. Alana. Well, Shannon, it was a long awaited homecoming just a little over an hour ago. FPL line workers and other staff reunited with their family and now they are safely back home in Florida. Home at last. We made a, uh, an impact on the island and the island made an impact on us. More than 120 FPL line workers, management and support staff back home in Florida. Crews were greeted by their families, FPL leaders and even Governor Rick Scott. A lot of work to be done. It, we knew that a tremendous hurricane came and and did a lot of damage to the island. The crews were first deployed in early January to restore power in the aftermath of Hurricane Maria and Irma rotating out every 30 days, but some stayed as long as three months. Super grateful to be back. Um, we didn't want to leave. We wanted to stay more. We still wanted to stay more time, but you know, it's it, it's it's we've been a long time away from my families. Workers told me they were overwhelmed by the hospitality of the Puerto Rican people during their time on the island. They feed us. I put on like 30 pounds. But it was a good, really good experience, you know. FPL says FEMA sponsored the trip at no cost to FPL customers. We do this at no profit. You know, we are here for mutual assistance. Everybody appreciate what we did, you know, and I will do it again. Now, good news from several months ago, about 90% of the island now has power. From here on out, I'm told that the Puerto Rico Electric Power Authority will be in charge of restoring power to the rest of its customers. Live in West Palm Beach, Alana Quill and WPTV News Channel 5.